Hi, I'm Liberty and today I'm going to be doing some netball drills for barracudas. So I've got some different drills for today. We're going to be doing some wall drills so you can do it by yourself and I've also got some partner drills that you could do with a friend or a family member. Okay, so we're going to start off with a warm-up. Uh, warm-ups are really important to help prevent you from getting injured and to get yourself ready for the session. Okay, so we're going to start off with some high knees. We're going to do 15 of them. So it's going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Next up we're going to do some star jumps, again 15 of them, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, so next up we've got some bum flicks, we're going to do 15 of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, next up, we're gonna feed some chickens. So we're gonna do 10 of them. So we're gonna go down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, so next up, we're gonna do some lunges. It's gonna be 10 in total, five on each side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, next up, we've got some side steps. You might need a bit more space for this one. We can do five lengths, okay? So, one, two, three, four, five. So finally for our warm up, we're going to do across the body arm stretches and we're going to hold for 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and switch arm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so the first set of drills are going to be some wall drills, so you can do them individually. You can either find a wall on the edge of your house or go to the park like I am and find a wall. Um, so we're going to start off with some small passes. It's going to be 15 on each hand and they're just going to be really small, controlled. Yeah, it doesn't need to be fast, um, it just needs to be controlled. So you're going to do 15, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, so we're going to move on to the other hand, to the other 15. Um, if you drop it, it's completely fine. Just pick it up and carry on going. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So the next drill, we're going to be doing some ball work on the wall again. Um, for your younger ones, we're going to go across the wall, controlled, just kind of moving side to side like this. Make sure you do 15 of these. And then for you older ones, I want to make it a little bit more difficult. So we're going to go around the world. So we're going to go in a circle, squat down and back up. Next up, we're going to do some chest passes against the wall. So we're going to do 15 of them. So um, for you younger ones, you want to stand a little bit closer and do 15 of these. For you older ones, you might want to step back a little bit so you can put more power into your pass. Like this. Okay, so after you've done 15 of them, I want you to go into some shoulder passes. So again, for the younger ones, a bit closer to the wall, making sure that you've got it up at your shoulder. Nice high balls against the wall. For the older ones, I want you to step back again. Same thing, shoulder passes, but obviously where you're further back, you're gonna have to throw a harder ball. Okay, so after you've done 15 of them shoulder passes, if you guys want to test yourself a little bit, you can come and do some jump shots. Uh, so I'm going to be throwing the ball high and I'm going to come back, jump and catch it. So you do 15 of them and then we'll crack on with the next drill. Okay, so the last wall drill, we're going to do some strength and conditioning. It's going to help with our agility and our balance. So you're going to start off facing the wall and you're going to pick up your right leg and jump onto it. So you're going to jump onto it, pass the ball to us, jump back on your left leg. Okay, so you want to do 15 of them. So one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to our partner drill. So this is where maybe a family member or a friend comes along and helps you out. So we're gonna start off with some anywheres. We're gonna be doing 10 of these. Um, this is where the person feeding you the ball is literally just gonna pass the ball anywhere and you're gonna be quite close proximity and you're gonna be returning the ball as best as you can. Obviously try and avoid footwork or bouncing the ball back, so repossession, um, just so we stick to the netball rules. Okay, so one last final tip is to be on your toes. Makes you ready for any movement. This is the best way to be on a netball court as well. So it's putting gameplay into practice within a drill. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So the next part in the drill we've got um, is running and receiving the ball. So you're gonna have the other person, maybe your family member or friend, they're gonna be passing you the ball. Um, so they're gonna be called the feeder. So you're gonna start further back and run onto the ball, catch it, pass it back and run back. So it's a little bit of fitness. So I'm gonna show you an example. Okay, so after you've done 10 of them, we're going to do another 10 of a very similar drill, but we're going to be doing a high ball. So the person that's going to be feeding you the ball, rather than just passing it straight to you, they're going to pass it up, so you've got to jump and catch it and pass it back to them. Okay, so we're going to do a few examples. Okay, so next up, again, very similar drill, but this time we're gonna be receiving a dropped ball. So your partner's gonna drop the ball, you're gonna return it to them. Obviously, try and avoid any footwork or bouncing the ball, so repossession. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so next up we've got a bit of a harder drill. Um, your feeder is going to be passing the ball to you, but it's going to be a little bit harder, so they might throw it a bit far to the left, to the right, up or down, so they're going to make you work for it. If you drop the ball, it's completely fine, just make sure you chase after it as quick as you can, like you would in a netball game. Okay, so we're going to get into it, we're going to be doing 10 of these. Okay, so next up, we've still got a bit more of a challenging drill. This is really gonna work on your agility. So don't worry if you don't get it, just stick at it and you'll be able to do it. Okay, so we're gonna start off with 10 on your toes. You know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then you're gonna move your body out to the left-hand side. So you put your foot out, foot to follow, foot back, foot to follow, and then the other side. So foot out, foot to follow, foot back, foot to follow. So you're gonna do that quick. So it's gonna one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. Okay, so after you've done that, then we're gonna be receiving a ball. So it's very similar to the other drills. You'll be doing this agility section at the beginning. When you come back, you run onto the ball, just a chest pass, return it, and then do it again ten times. So I'm gonna do an example now so you guys get an understanding of it. Okay, so this is the last drill for today. So it's gonna be the same thing, so the agility out, but you're gonna be receiving a high pass rather than a chest pass. So you're gonna be jumping for it, return it, and then do it again, so 10 times. So I'm just gonna show you an example now. Okay, so now we've finished our main session, we're just gonna 
go into a cool down as it's the best way to recover after an intense session. So we're gonna start off with some of these stretches. We're just gonna hold for 10 seconds. You should be able to feel it in your groin. So just hold it for 10 and then switch. And hold it for 10 seconds. And then we'll go into the next stretch. Okay, so now we're gonna go into a lunge. Again, just hold it for 10 seconds. You can pulse it if you want. And then switch leg and hold for 10 seconds. Yeah, so the next one we're gonna go in like this and you'll be able to feel it in your hamstring. Hold that for 10 seconds and then switch your leg. So you'll be able to feel a stretch all down the back of your leg. So we're just gonna do some more stretches. You're gonna put your foot up, balance, hold that for 10 seconds and then switch your legs. And then we're gonna bring it up like this, hold for 10 seconds and switch your legs. So our last stretch of today is just again going in with the arms, same as we did for the warm up. Just hold them for 10 seconds and then switch your arms. Okay, thanks for tuning in today guys. I hope you really enjoyed the session. I know that I did. I hope you're having a good time during summer. Lockdowns hasn't been too bad. Um, hopefully I'll see you guys soon.